All right, two more patterns, okay? So next one, if you see a pi bond between two atoms that have different in electronegativity, for example, this one right here. Now, I'm sure you can tell that carbon and oxygen, uh, oxygen is more electronegative, which means that the, the, uh, the pi electrons between them won't be shared equally, right? Oxygen is going to pull electron to itself. You can draw an arrow like that, all right? So this is a resonant structure, and either of them, uh, neither of them showed what the real structure looked like, okay? Uh, in the real calculation, it shows that oxygen, uh, the pi electrons here, um, localize a little bit more, spend more time on oxygen, okay? So oxygen pull electron to itself, somewhere between these two structures, but oxygen uh, obviously got more electrons on it, okay? That's a real structure. All right, come down here, testosterone, look, <clears throat> look at that. Don't... Uh, feel like intimidated by the, how big a structure is, we just look at the, like one bond, find a double bond there, right? The double bond between two atoms with different um, electronegativity allow you to draw that arrow, that. Once you draw this first arrow here, it creates a double bond next to a carbocation. You can draw another one there. Here we go. That's our, our conjugation here from one, two, three, four, so four atoms conjugated in there, all right? All right, <clears throat> the last pattern, so this one in, uh, in in a conjugated pi system, enclosed in a ring, like in a benzene, you are, you are, allow, you are allowed to use um, multiple arrows, look like that. Okay, these are the same thing there, all right? Okay, now that's pretty much uh, for patterns that you will see very often, okay? Now, right here, let's see if you can spot something 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 wrong. I'll give you maybe a, a few minutes here, so pause the video, uh, uh, think about think about this 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 two arrow and see what's wrong. Okay, all right, and check back check back with me here. All right, first first uh, first one. Why this guy's wrong? When you move this two lone pair and form a double bond on here, what happened? This hydrogen is gonna have four electrons. Can can a hydrogen atom contain four uh, like hold four electrons? No. Hydrogen atom is on the first period in the periodic table. Hydro hydrogen and helium, right? This got, these two atoms got, uh, these two elements got only an S orbital. An S orbital can hold only two electrons. You can make it four electrons like that. So no, no, don't, don't do that, all right? And the second period, so, uh, second period cannot be, uh, cannot exceed eight electrons. It cannot be more, cannot have more than eight electrons because, um, like boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, they're, they're on the second period, right? The, this guy have only S orbital, which is two electrons, and three P orbitals, which is six electrons, six plus two, that's eight. The maximum number of electrons this guy can hold is only eight. This carbon obviously over octet, all right? But if you go <clears throat> down in the periodic table, table to period, uh, I was like period, three, four, and five, right? So phosphorus, sulfur, bromine, chlorine, iodine, this guy can be over octet because it got the D orbitals there, right? But we don't talk about it in here. I mean, just yet, okay? All right, common mistake, so do not do not do this. Do not break a sigma bond. Breaking a sigma bond is actually, uh, is when you do a reaction. You actually produce a product there. Yeah, this is not the, this is not the resonance structure. The different molecular formula. The resonance structure have to be this, uh, represent the same molecule. It's gonna have the same molecular formula, all right? Uh, you can draw right here. This 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 one. Oh, this one is better. Now double bond next to a um, carbocation. Here, here we go. That's a resonance. Same structure there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> uh, let's try this. Okay. Uh, try it on your own and then check with me here. Uh, draw a resonance arrow. So I'll, can you see this? I'll little like lone pair. You can draw that arrow. Ta-da. All right, take your time. Stop, pause the video if, you, uh, if I go too fast, okay? All right, now, come down here, this guy. So, uh, alcohol here with the benzene ring. So, if you see allylic ally lone pair, ta-da, that's one. Also, negative chart is a lone pair, right? So, lone pair and then double bond. So, I'll create another allylic lone pair. So, you can do another one. And you can, you can do another one there. All right. <clears throat> now, come down here. There's no lone pair to draw, but... What do you see? You see a double bond between two atoms with different electronegativity. So obviously oxygen will pull pi electron to itself, 
create a carbocation, right? And now we have a double bond next to a carbocation. Ta-da, draw a resonance arrow. Another double bond next to the carbocation. Another one. Another one. <laughs> DJ call it. No. Next one. Uh, this one is pretty much the same thing. So nitrogen and carbon. So nitrogen is more electronegative than carbon. You can draw a resonance arrow up to the nitrogen. You get a curved arrow. And this creates a double bond next to a carbocation. Ta-da, one more. All right. <clears throat> All right. Next one. So double bond next to a carbocation. Draw the, draw the arrow. Here we go. Another double bond next to a carbocation. Draw another arrow. Are we done yet? No, actually, we're not, we're not done yet. This oxygen has a lone pair, a lone pair next to a carbocation. Same thing. You can do another one. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Oops. All right. Let's go to the next video.